Dynamite Kid wrote a lot about you in his book that you guys were, were very close. When did that friendship start? Well, it started when I went up to uh, the WWE and uh, me and Dynamite Travel Roads. I had a huge respect for Dynamite Kid. You know, he just recently died and, uh, you know, there's a friend of mine named Gary Ports, who Scotty wrestled as Scott McGee. And uh, every time we get together, we tell Dynamite stories. Dynamite, pound for pound, was, uh, he was awesome. He was a great performer. The guy gave his life, actually, to this business because he went out there and did some crazy stuff. He made everything look so realistic, and it was real. I, I have the utmost respect for Dynamite Kid. I love the guy. And uh, he had a lot of guts. He didn't back down from anybody. He'd take anybody on. and. Uh, I just can't say enough good things about Dynamite Kid. I miss him. It's been a while since I read his book, but he wrote a story in his book that uh, you let him house it once, and I guess he OD'd or something. Do you have any recollection of that? <laughs> Unfortunately, yes. Um, yeah, he, he, he took something. I don't know what it was, but he uh, started having seizures. At one point, he stopped breathing. I ended up having to give him mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation. And um, so the called the um, EMS came and uh, took him to the hospital. And uh, like I said earlier, Gary Ports came to the house. And um, I told Gary that he needed to go get dynamite out of the hospital because we didn't know if they were going to arrest him for what he was doing or whatever. But um, ended up, that was the last time I saw Dynamite Kid was uh, when he OD'd at my house. and. Um, Gary went to the hospital and stuck him out of the hospital and got him on a plane the next day and he went back to England. 